Hi everyone, it's Mark from Brave Auto International in Japan. Uh, before I do the road test, I'll just do a walk around and tell you a bit about this one. If you're not interested in the walk around, just skip forward and you'll come to the road test part of the video. Okay, this is a 2000 model Mercedes-Benz S55L AMG. Uh, it was bought out of auction, um, it's actually bought out of my local auction. Um, it's grade 4.5. And I actually saw the vehicle at auction and it was because it was that clean I decided to buy it for stock. Uh, it's done 93 or 98,000 Ks, we'll have a look in a minute anyway. It's got um, full books as well. And it's in the silver as you can see unless you're colour blind. And um, it's got full black leather. And it's actually a really nice uh, clean example as well got loads of features in these. Okay, it's got factory 18 inch alloys and I'm going to show you each alloy because the alloys look like, I don't know, they've never seen um, a curb, put it that way. It's super, super clean. You know, like even if you look through, let me just show you this. I don't know if you can see through there or not. I can read that sticker on the inside of the wheel. <laughs> so it just shows you what the uh, previous owner was like. He must have been um, on Sunday sitting there polishing his wheels on the inside. Okay, it's got parking sensors at the back there. And you've got parking sensors at the front. Same with that alloy. It's just, yeah, incredible really. And that one. Okay, so there's your parking sensors here at the front. You've got pop-out uh, things for your headlights. The headlights are crystal clear. So this has been a garage car. So you can just tell. Okay, you've got the glass sunroof. Got the little um, antenna there at the back. Here's your um, factory AMG. Japan stickers. Okay, that sticker there, this one's on the outside of the glass. This one here is on the inside of the glass and it's it's on the glass and then the window tint's on the other side, you see? So you can't get that sticker off or add that sticker. <laughs> it's probably the easiest way to put it. Okay, you've got AMG exhaust. Okay, you may have noticed it. It's actually got later model tail lights fitted. Okay. Okay, these are 360 horsepower. Uh, obviously, they're a V8. Um, they're about 540 uh, in torque. So they're very torquey. Not in the chatterbox talky, in the power talk that is. Okay, we will um, have a look in the boot and work our way forward. Okay, it's your triangle up there. Okay, in the box here is the original tail lights. Okay, won't bother getting them out and showing you. Um, it's your CD changer obviously a cover it's come down sits there like that okay now if you look in here okay those tools look like they've never been used and that spare tire or wheel has never been on the car okay there's all your spec coating as well can see that clearly or not okay anyway we'll let that down close this okay the boots on these have soft close so you just pull the boot down and it'll actually close the rest of the way by itself okay um, what I'll do before I show you in the back 
I'll turn the ignition on because there's um, the back of these is like a spaceship. Okay. We'll look on this side to be a bit darker on this side. Okay, um, you obviously got the wood trim all the way through, which is all factory. You got the airbag here, you got multi airbags through it, you know, you got pillar airbags and everything. Okay, um, you got the electric um, seats, which are memory and heated. Okay, so the seats here, just show you. Be able to see that hopefully. Okay, reclines. Yeah. Okay, and you've got a pulse down here, so it's like a vibrator. You know, don't know if that sounded right or not, but anyway, it vibrates. So. Okay. So we'll go around the other side and we'll have a look on the other side. Okay, just a mirror image of the other side really. Okay, the ashtrays here, cigarette lighter. The same on the other side as well. Okay, this seat's all electric as well. Let's make that move. Oh, that's right. The other thing it does as well, you can move this on this side. You can move the passen the front passenger seat. See, I'm moving it back, and I'm moving it forward now. Okay. So it's going to move right out of the way. You watch. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we can move this seat here. See it moving? Okay, and basically you just push these switches here. So it changes from the front seat to the rear seat. So this is back to the front seat, so we'll bring it back. It's not the fastest thing in the world, it's like um, watching paint dry. Okay, let's put the headrest back down. Okay, and we'll just lower the seat as well. That's better. Maybe just go a little bit further forward. Okay, um, you've got picnic tables both sides. Okay, so there's different height, lip. You know, you've got to close it, then open it again. And there's different heights. So you got there there or right up okay okay um, let me just move the seat back so I can get in now you need a, um, a degree in the electrics on this to work out which button does what okay so I think I mentioned before this one vibrates as well so that'll um, I don't know, keep you happy okay you've got individual aircon controls in the rear here okay you've got climate here you know so Okay, turn that off. Okay, um, you've got a storage box here. Okay, armrest that folds down, storage in there, and if you push the front, drinks holder. So, one can of beer, another can of beer. You're made on that side, and you have the wives in the front driving. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, Okay, don't know if you can see this or not. Okay, this is your parking sensors. Now, it's, they're obviously not on because the car's not running and it's not in reverse. But you see these through the rear vision mirror and that tells you how close you are. Okay. You just got a little storage thing here. Oh, sorry. In there, okay. Right. Okay, um, all the hand rails, or hand rails, I don't know what the correct word is, hand, or hand rails will do for now anyway. I've got wood trim on them, 
Okay, you've got um, vanity mirrors. This is really good. Okay, so the lights, you know. Okay, so you, you've got, you got his there and his over here as well. Okay. All the hood lighting in this thing is really nice. It's a real nice soft grey suede, you know. Okay. Your sunroof's got sunshade. Okay. And same with the sunshade um, handles, got a wood trim on it. Okay. Airbag. Airbag. Okay, we'll just have a quick look in the front there. Okay. Okay, we'll just um, tell you what, the seats are nice and comfy. Okay, you might not be able to see this, but even your... Get the camera to focus. Even the door locks here at the top here have got AMG written on them. Okay, for the front. Okay, wood trim obviously, airbag. Okay, electric seats, heated, memory, uh, window, both speakers. Okay, the leather's really immaculate. Nice and soft. Okay. This one pulses as well. Okay, you've got the AMG floor mats all the way through. Full leather wrapped stereo, uh, dash, sorry. Top, uh, sorry, bottom and top. Tell you what, this is hard doing this looking through the camera and yeah, anyway. Okay, um, that's that side. Okay, you've got another spec coating stickers down there. Okay. Okay, let's go around the driver's side. Okay, obviously wood trim again. Just a mirror image of the other side, except you've got all the window controls. All the windows are automatic, up and down. Okay, boot opener. Okay, all your electrics. And that's for your mirrors. It's got folding mirrors as well. Okay, AMG plate there. Okay, some servicing stickers. It's when your next service is due. 100,000 Ks. And it's got 93 on it at the moment. I can just see it looking in the dash there. Okay, you've got the wood trim steering wheel. Driver's seat pulses as well. So all the seats pulse. That'll keep everyone happy then. Okay, just jump in. Okay. There's the door. Okay, just fire it up. Okay. Let's go through some of the codes here. Uh, no malfunctions. Okay, back to the case. Okay, you've got um, obviously the airbag steering wheel, all the controls on it. Okay. Um, you can see this. Okay, this is cruise control. Obviously, head uh, wipers, indicators, and you may see down there. That's your electric uh, steering column just here. Okay. There's obviously your headlights and headlight washers. Okay. Um, obviously, e ESP off. You got different um, suspension controls, so you got. Uh, a little bit medium, I suppose, and then hard, and then that's completely off. Okay, um, you can raise the car up, 
oh, sorry, push it that way, and it will tell you on the dash here as well. See? Okay, rear um, headrests. So if I just turn the camera around, they should go back and they should pop back up. Okay, I'll just put them back down. And let's put the blind up while you're there. Okay. Okay. Okay, you got some um, aftermarket stereo here, which is a um, CD, PC card, and a MD, whatever that is. It's a pretty old looking thing anyway, so you probably change that. The good thing it has this as well, so you can now put another double DIN in there local one okay you got climate air okay um, oops it's there okay and then you have your individual sides okay switch that off okay okay you got normal auto which has winter mode okay and sports mode and when you come down to D, it's Tritronic, okay? And if you go back up onto the dash here, see it changing? Okay, so it's in, it's in sports mode at the moment. So if I go to W, winter mode, okay, back to sports. And then if I go all the way up, I'll go to D. So I'm in normal um, auto now. Okay, you've got an AMG logo there, just a storage box. Okay. Okay, you've got another, let me just put the park, storage box there. Okay, drinks holder there. And storage there. And there's actually another little storage one there as well. Okay, um, up here is obviously your sunroof controls. That's opening it obviously. It's closing it obviously. And it will tilt up as well. Okay. Let's give it a couple of revs. You might hear, I don't know if you know about your Mercedes or not, you can't, it won't rev properly. The idea of it is to stop you holding like, I don't know, 5,000 revs and then dropping it from D, uh, from park into D or from neutral, sorry, into D. Okay, it's a system built into Mercs to stop that. Okay, we'll have a look at the engine bay. Okay, it's got gas struts, they're all strong, holding it up. Really nice in here. Okay, it's tidy underneath the bonnet as well. Okay, let's give it a couple of revs while that's open. Okay. Just drop that down. Okay, just go once small around it and then we'll get underway. A lot of car really, you sort of look at it, you know, just got the Mercedes quality and then all the bits and pieces it has with it.
Okay, anyway guys, I will um, put the camera up inside and we'll get underway. It's starting to get late in the afternoon here. Okay, I'll see you when I'm inside the car. Okay everyone, we'll get underway with this one. Okay, during the road test, what I'm doing is just making sure everything's right with the vehicle. Um, you know, gearbox is changing as it should. There's no thumping, there's no lag. Um, I already know this car is fine anyway because, like I said, I bought it from USS Nagoya, which is my local auction, and I actually drove it back from the auction. So, that was, you could say, that was the test drive. So, yeah. Um, these, like I said, in the walk around as well, you know, you, for the money you get a lot of car you know um, so yeah yeah they're they're obviously they're a big car um, but they're nice to drive in the aspect that they they don't feel big you know they still feel nice so I'm not saying a big car doesn't feel nice I'm just saying you know I'm coming from personal experience I normally like smaller cars Okay, so, yeah, anyway. Um, all the aircon works, all the electrics work, cruise works, um, all the seats are working as well. Um, the only thing I haven't tried is actually the heated seats, mainly because, I don't know, it's summer here and well, it's coming into summer and it's getting hot and it's a bit hard to tell whether they're working or whether it's just the seats hot from the heat here I don't know so um, as I said in the walk around you can with the gearbox you know you've got different modes so you've got your winter mode and then you've got your sports mode you got your Triptronic so I'm now dropped down to fourth down to third down to second and as I'm coming up to here I can bring it down to first so I'm in the first gear now and then if I want to go back into D just I just go all the way up and now I'm back in D so it's like normal auto um, the adjustable suspension on them is really good as well you can actually notice the difference um, in the damper uh, ride um, you've got three settings so you've got what it is now then harder and then the hardest so, I don't know if you can see in the camera, there's a police car there, the little, little car it is. Okay, normally I give it a bit of a burst up here, um, but obviously I've got traffic in front of me. So, it'll just be a, a little bit of a burst on the way back. Like this, this test drive, it's not a, um, I don't know, it's not a review, you know, not reviewing the make and the model and all that. All I'm doing is, it's basically, what I'm doing for this, this, this video is just to show that we do actually test drive the vehicles. You know, I know this is not the, a, not, not the real test drive because we normally do the test drive as soon as the vehicle arrives from the auction. But it just shows you that we've got dealer plates, real dealer plates as well, not made up ones. And um, we are actually test driving the vehicles. So, because some people have emailed me and said, oh, you know, your review of that car the other day wasn't very good or whatever. And I sort of emailed them back and say, well, it's not actually a review. I'm not re reviewing it. I'm sort of test driving it. <laughs> it's different. Okay, brakes feel good, you know, there's no um, pulsing through the pedal, it's not pulling anywhere or any direction. You know, when it's, when it's under load, it's changing gear properly, you know, it's, there's no thump, no hesitation or anything. 
just yeah like i say it's just a nice nice car all around Okay. Okay, coming back up to the office. Okay, everyone, that was your uh, Mercedes um, S55L AMG 2000 model, done 93,000 Ks. And um, yeah, really nice vehicle. And it will be on the website shortly. Okay, I'll see you next time.